Christ, Shalom Amakim. Before I get started with the lesson, I want to give all praises, honor, and the glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Arakakudash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders that rule well at Great Millstone. And salutations to all you since your Akim preaching this word, this truth, and sincerity. Alright. So, um, this is Exodus chapter 3 and verse 10. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto God, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh? and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt. And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee, that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God, the power of your fathers, has sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? So this is, you know, when the Israelites, who, we are the Israelites so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. We are the true Hebrew Israelites. All right. And all nations that existed from ancient times are still here today. You know, as I mentioned before, you might have clans and tribes of other nations that have been, you know, destroyed but you still have those nations from which they stemmed all right and you know we served hard bondage in Egypt ancient Egypt as we're serving hard bondage all right in this modern Egypt so we were catching so much hell and it was time for us to be uh, redeemed. Well, the Lord set up Moses. Moses is set up to be a king, governor over us, to deliver us from the hands of Pharaoh and the Egyptians. And the Lord raised up Moses and told him he was with him. So Moses is saying, well, you know, uh, all the nations have gods. All the nations have their deities. And, you know, I'm going to come to your people. And they're going to say, well, what is his name? The God of our fathers, we've, you know, we don't know him. Who is he? God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. Now let's go to the blue letter. Okay. said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. 
And the power said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord power, now when you go into that word, the Lord, all right, the Lord, that's his name, all right, it's not Yova, it's not Jehovah, okay, it's Yahweh, all right, Yahweh, which means he exists, so when he said I am, he said look, I am, I exist, but you're going to go tell them he is, you know, he exists, okay, let's go back to that. said, Yahweh, power of your fathers, the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, and the power of Jacob, has sent me unto you. Okay. He didn't say to go tell him that, you know, uh, man, you got bug outs out there that are, you know, <laughs> you got guys out there that are bugging out. Okay, they forgot the name. All right, the name is being taken from them, you know? And that's a fearful thing. Because the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe, okay? It says, this is my name forever. This is my memorial unto all generations. He said, this is my name forever. Yahweh is his name forever. See, God is just a title, okay? Jehovah is just a, a, a you know, a, a translation. Okay, we it's well known that, you know, the Hebrew is the pure tongue. The Lashuan Kudash, the Holy Tongue. Okay. He said that is his name forever, Yahweh. So why are guys coming out with Graka, Makar, or whatever these dudes are saying? Satan's name is Yahar Deboa or some. She's bugging, bugging out, man. Dudes are bugging out. You know, the Lord's name is forever. It's never changed. And it's Yahweh, which means he exists. That's the name of God. Yahweh. And his only begotten son, his true name is Yahweh Shai, which means he delivers. Okay, when you look at the name Joshua, it, it, Joshua is just a, just, just a translation. You go into the park of fun, it talks about Jesus and, Jesus and Caleb. So in English, his name would, would have been Joshua. But when you look in the Hebrew, it's Yahweh Shai. All right? So those are their names forever. Never changed. It wasn't, he taught 143 it wasn't that he taught 143,999 men or 998 men, his name being Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but two special individuals got some secret heavenly names. No, he's saying that those are my names forever. Those are his names on, on earth, on heaven, where, wherever. Those are his names. No, that's his name, Yahweh. Okay. So yeah, this is just a, you know, a, just a short video, you know, a lesson on the name. Okay. And that, um, you know, it's it's fearful. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know. So yeah. Um, you see those dudes, a uh, spiritual life lesson bugging out. 
And we, we see this go on every year, you know, that's why it's very important, very important to fear the Lord and to, to be diligent, you know, because, you know, you, man, it's very important to be sincere, continue on believing the Lord, being diligent, and, um, you know, not leaning unto your own understanding and, you know, taking the truth for granted. You know, because those guys are, they're totally gone. With that, all praise is honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders that rule well. A great millstone. Shalom to the elect.